It's hurting my back. You know what? There's a picnic batch up yonder. I got to be an idea. I have my readers on. And I'll sit over here because I don't want a certain bird poop. I have my readers on. And there we go. Got them off. I got this, this a little hill, you see. There's the van. It's not too bad to go up and down but <laughs> where are you going you're mine so we'll take this I already got the one screwdriver we'll take these and the bucket and let's go see what we got we'll come back and put this stuff in there I'm gonna stop right here on the way and set in some shade Get my drink. See, look at that. I wonder if they're setting that out to make uh, um, sun tea. I don't know. And here we go. We got our little bucket. So, Coons, remember that? I found that in the junk. God, last fall or late summer. There it is. I gave it up. They have a fire pit back here, barbecue grill. They had a couple, they had a gas grill over here, but it's gone now. But we live right there, and the two buildings share this spot to have their cookouts that put in fires, bring their lawn chairs out here and sit and drink and talk. So, yeah, <laughs> good times. All right. <sighs> Yo, Feck has never had a good relationship with picnic tables, so I don't like straddling them all the way. All right, back in with the readers. And I got bugs hanging around. Bugs. suspected brown boards but you know what <laughs> wonder if these pop off well right here some copper windings transformer oh wait there's one green board two little green board three four these are just tiny but there's one that might interest the, uh, there's a crystal oscillator, uh, flat pack, yes. There's another little board under there. Uh, le okay, so in the interest of being fair, I will... Uh, Pull what wires I can, cut ones I can't. I don't know if that one pops off. I don't think it does. Um, I'll do 
do my due diligence and cut the cut the wires and pull the boards. Right there. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that off of there. All right. Because there, I believe there are more boards underneath here, and there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, holding it in. So I'll take the time to take them out. What the hell? My own, <laughs> my own marathon video. I might even, uh, Oh shoot, that hurt. I might even um, set this as its own video. Don't know. I know this goes a lot faster with power tools, but I'm enjoying the weather. This is a hobby. I'm not gonna make millions of dollars or even ones of dollars off of this stuff. <laughs> So, I'm just having a good time enjoying the breeze, the cool air. Well, the wife is inside toiling away, doing the laundry. I feel no shame over that because the wife I work five days a week, eight hours a day, sometimes overtime. My wife works normally five days a week, four hours a day, sometimes only three hours a day. So, and for the last two weeks, she's had three day weekends. She has for, uh, Fridays and Saturdays off. Well, I have Wednesday and Thursday off. She took off Thursday this week and the week prior. Okay, there's one board. Uh, I can go with the crap right there. Yeah. See, I'm looking at this. See these? I don't know if this pops up. It'd be really cool if it did. I don't have the right one with me. What you see under there, it's copper. It's not much, I mean, I'm not gonna fart with it, but there might be copper in that too, I don't know. There's board one. Let's get the green board off. And we'll go after the brown board, the other one. The big power board. Which appears to be not much of a power board at all. You know what's giving this all the weight, guys? I thought there was gonna be you know, nice copper in here, but in reality, it's giving this thing all the weight is right here. This steel. Ah, okay. Against my better judgment. <laughs> Bringing the other leg over. So it's kind of hard to do sideways. So, get a full on shot at it. That's a little better. I'm not extending my left arm or my right arm too much. Done it. Water some bridge connectors. Hey, come on. I'm using this screwdriver because it's got the magnetized end on it. But the other one would work better for this. Because this one kind of, if I don't bear down on it, it keeps slipping around. Okay, that's it. I'm getting the other screwdriver, y'all. Yeah, come on. That's pissing me off. Whoops. 
Ah, stay there, plastic. Uh, Gotta make sure nobody's taking my scrap treasure. Nope, it's still sitting there. <laughs> yeah, this one will this one'll do a much better job on it. <laughs> Until I get there and try it, and then it's like... <clears throat> crash bang into some more plastic again before I get set here. All right. Yeah, this one will do a little better job, I think. Well, it's slipping too. What the hell? Okay. Wrap. Come on. Hey, got an idea. Magnetize thyself, you. Yeah, there's not much to this. Um. One flat pack. One crystal oscillator. Or crystal. I don't know that it's a crystal oscillator. It's a bunch of little don't know what the hell they are, but yeah, there's no, it's not a big deal, but from what I can tell, it's not a big deal. All right, let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take this apart. So I went and grabbed that and used it on a, Half turn. I'm already back to this one. That's just plastic. God, yes. Oh, come on. Taking that much time for two screws to do what? Take this off of this plastic. And it's actually. Oh, jeez. It's actually stuck right here, too. Okay, that's all part of the board, anyways. So we're just gonna. Pretty sure. How to come off with the board. Well, we'll see. I'm looking on this board, I only see one area that's worth a damn to me, maybe two. I don't think there's anything inside of there that's. Like I said, guys, I'm a I'm a three metal man mainly. Aluminum doesn't come easy to me. There's so many different classifications for it. Steel's fairly easy. <clears throat> it's either shred, short, autocast, or three foot. <clears throat> I even think short steel might be just another name for three foot. So, all I know there's four different price points. Shred's cheap, Stovecast is next, and Autocast or three foot, Autocast, no, three foot, or short steel is next, and then the Autocast, like the brake rotors. Now when I say still cast, I'm talking about like the girls off the barbecues, um, what some people might call wrought iron, like your benches that you have uh, that you and your wife have down, you know, that kind of steel. That's what goes to stove cast here. And 
or I've heard it called slag iron, pig iron. It's sturdy enough to set, to hold pottery and stuff like that, but it's not meant for much more than decorative and parking your butt. Aluminum, Jesus God. Cans, extruded, sheet, um, cast. There's other classifications of it. I think the one that I have the hardest time with is, I mean, cans are easy because cans are cans. Sheet is easy because it's just anything that's flat that god dang it all right you know what this i hate doing this but these gloves give me no chance to bear down on this stuff and work it um like the downspouts and stuff like that so i can put it down like that and work it and the little flat pieces and the blinds stuff like that What am I missing? Right there. Um, it's a lot of screws for nothing, basically. I mean, right there. I'll show you something as soon as I get this screw out. Really? Just because I can't get my fingers down in there to get your scrawny ass out, you gotta play games. Right here. This. Let's see if I can get this off here. Hey, come on. I don't have the proper tools for this either. Right that way. Come on. Do you want to cooperate? Yes. Yes, I do. You. All right, right there. There we go. Look at that copper. Come on. Um. There we go. Check this out. So this, it's tanned right there. Look at that copper wire, guys. The only thing I don't like about this, see that? That tape. You want to get this wire out? That's fine. <clears throat> but you got to bust this open, take all that damn tape off. But right here, this. That is a piece of copper right there. Goes in your number two, but that's not much. Now this. Is basically just brass. It's copper with solder on it. it. Can go as brass. And for some reason, the scrapyard I go to, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But little transformers like this, they will not take as motors. These will not go as motors. So I think it's horseshit because it's made of the same stuff almost the same consistency I mean weight wise steel to copper as a bigger one um, I just don't get it but I'm gonna keep one back take it with me and see if there's a different story from the manager rather than somebody on the yard all right okay so what do we got left here this one there's one on yep, one other one too. So getting back to my friend here for a minute. After he passed away, I quit drinking. Cold turkey. No 12 step, no nothing. 
I just stopped. And wouldn't you know, I think this is the last one. That's the easiest one to get out. Um, I just stopped drinking, period. You know, I don't know. I don't need a pat on the back, none of that crap. It's no big deal. It's just, if you're gonna stop, you just stop, okay? At any rate, um, I was lost. I mean, ter terribly lost for a couple years, guys. I mean, I'm gonna break into this real quick. Um, yeah, see, there's, usually, Usually what's in here is, if I can find one on here somewhere, I don't know if there's one on the outside of this or not. Uh, there was one on this board. There's usually at least one crystal inside of there on the opposite side. Um, I was lost. I mean, he was... Lack of a better term, my second wife. Okay, not on that side. Heck, not even on this side. So I know on the big, the big uh, CRTVs, uh, CRTs. Once you get in, yeah, this is true. Once you get inside of this, and we're all little copper coils. There's usually. One of these in there. But not this time. Alright. So I'm gonna look. I'm looking. Ouch, good. That's where the gloves come in handy. So the fingers don't get hurt. You know what? I'm looking at this. I don't see a board of any kind in there. I just see labels and more steel. See this right here? That's all I see is steel. There's a little board here. But I mean, these, there, it's a nothing board. I'm gonna leave these on here because this is gonna go right to shred anyways. I'll keep the boards out. Um, yeah, come back to me. Let's go shred. But I'm going to put... How the hell with that? I'm going to throw this in the junk. I don't want to put this back on there. This, for a half a pound of... Oh my God, this is heavy. A half a pound of plastic for... No. For what? That's a penny. And shred price. I know. Why not? It's all the screws to it are in here now. <laughs> that's my that's my go-to. So this can go to shred and that can go to shred. Now I'm gonna put these after I put a glove on into that. Right there. Now, I do have, up in the apartment, uh, a box about this size, maybe, it's as tall, but it's a bigger, it's wider, it's up in the cat, uh, closet, um, and I do have boards in there. I used to get the, uh, the uh, wireless modems and the big wire modems from the AT&T Uverse dumpster. Well, not anymore. It's like they gave up on throwing that stuff out. Or they're keeping it themselves or whatever. But I do have a box of those in the apartment. Because at one time the yard I go to did buy boards. They didn't pay worth a shit. But they paid way better than shred price. I mean, when shred was... Four cents a pound, they'd pay you 15 cents a pound for all your boards. Wasn't much, but 
If you had a lot of them, boom. 15 cents is better than four. Better than throwing them in shred in that spot. So, but then they stopped. Yeah, I got a man, I got a problem with that. Yeah, I got a bad back, guys. Our three stooges parlance. I had a week back. You got a week back? Yeah, I got a week back. Why don't you get a week back? Yeah, about a week back. All right, let's throw this in the junk. Come back for that stuff. Yeah, I tear into that microwave, but again, I don't have any of the yeah, yeah, yeah proper <laughs> tools with me. So, yeah, because this has, let me take a look. Yep, you have one safety right there. You know, two, out are all safety bits. Yep. So you know how I get into those, right? <laughs> I tear them up. You stay right there. Now, I wonder if... I doubt it, but... I got shoot everywhere in here. Now nah, that's buried. I was going to try to get this fan out, but... And again, this thing... Howie, and cheese. to tear this up. Indeed I do. Let's go tear it up. It's got those <coughs> heads on there. I don't know. Okay, first of all, we'll take this and throw it in the van. Then we'll open that up if we can. <coughs> to think as I'm walking along if I have anything that I can use to break into oh you know what some form of pry bar owie yeah that hurt right there see that that's a bleeder that was stupid all right um oh man that's <laughs> Uh, no, I won't get dizzy. It's going to bleed a little bit. That's all right. But you know what? I don't want to hit this vehicle. Shoot. They're buried, though. That's the thing. I wonder if I can get this out from underneath that because... Oh, man. Yeah. Uh... All right. Hang on. That was just plain stupid of me, guys. Eh. A little blood and shit, I don't care. Um, I'm trying to get this one out. No, I'm not trying to be some kind of tough guy. Hey! My scrap's taking off on me up there. What fell? Heard something fall. Oh, my big screwdriver. Where'd you go, big screwdriver? Right there. Oh, right here. Yeah, that's a flush one. It'll be fine. No <coughs> blood never hurt anybody. All right. Yeah, come on. So what I'm thinking is maybe. This may not be a good idea, but... Don't worry, if I see blood drops on the table, I will head inside. See? There we go. <laughs> that, that's what pants and shirts are for. Take care of the messies. Right here, because I, I, literally, this is the only thing holding that cover on, other than flanges. 
Oh, nice one here. We can get that one that way too. Hopefully. Just break it. So this is what I was doing with the microwaves. Because I, I didn't have the proper uh, safety head. So... Let's see if I can crack this out of here a little bit. There we go. This might help facilitate the back, like so. Now that's more like it. It's the heaviest thing I have here, you. You don't want to come out, do you? Um, that's way too big. So let's see if I can pry it. I don't want to bend that screwdriver. It's brand new, for Christ's sake. But that, that one's being stored. Okay, good enough. We got it loose. Let's see what we have here. You've got to be kidding me. Seriously? Look at all of them. They're all this. Yeah, Jesus Christ. These. That's the ones I was talking about right there. Look at that. That ladybug. Hey, ladybug. Hey, there's a card. See how quick my direct TV access card. So somebody said that's gold, yes. Maybe. Hey. Dad gummit. They're the oddballs. me. Nice power board. There's some nice copper in there. That's that that's a solid piece of aluminum. I don't know if you can say that. But this is what I'm after right here. I can't even tell what size it is. And I don't have second. Yep, bleeding's done, pretty much. I got one other option, maybe. I'm gonna try. Just gotta be careful here, because fat doesn't slow down going downhill. That might be small enough, I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. It's not an option, it's... <laughs> not an option, it's a necessity. I saw, again, E-Waste Ben. I don't know if any of you have been watching his, his seven-day mission series. I don't do E-Waste, but I sure like watching that guy work. I mean, he's like a master with a drill and a... <clears throat> just the way he... Team! Team! Gets them out right away. This is too big. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. That's, I mean, here's the problem. See, look at this. Two different sized, two different lengths screwdrivers, but what's the point? It's the same size head. Because all I want out of here is the drive and maybe just this and that copper there. And the boards. I'd take the boards and... Son of a diddly. I really need to get a better grade of tools. <laughs> well, that means this is not going to shred. But I'm going to have to find somewhere else to put it in the van because...
finally. Now that I can't get what I want out of it, you come off. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm looking at this. So, uh, I don't know, I've seen him explain chips, flat packs, stuff like that, crystals, you know, but there's another crystal there. But other than that, I, I wouldn't know my ass from a hole in the ground about this stuff. Ooh, there's some copper right there, too. Yeah, that's a solid brick of aluminum right there. Oh, and of course, Phillips head. Why can't the rest of this be direct TV? Screw you. I'm farting around. I got tools sitting out here everywhere. You're not rolling off the table this time. So some guy around here has a gas-powered motor or a gas-powered bicycle. I don't know if you can see him right there. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. He says it gets like 60 miles to the gallon with it, and it, but it's only got it's only got like a two and a half gallon tank on it, or two maybe. Well, there we go. Direct TV card. I don't really care, so I don't mine gold. What am I doing? Why am I not doing what I should be doing? Putting this stuff in here. Why else pick it up? Yes, no. It's a hell of a lot better to continue it all in here. Except these. I was going on the road with me. A little bit of plastic. All right. I got tons to clean up. I got, I mean, cable. I got a f full tote, I mean a big tote of cords, and I bet you I could damn near fill another one with what's in here, what's in there, and what I have up in the apartment. Um, I got your idea, Koontz, right here. I know that uh, I really struggled with that. As I learn how to do this stuff, I watch other people's videos and I saw two videos on how to get this off here and both of them was utilized what I was trying to do but I get you if you got a good sturdy, sturdy screwdriver you probably bend this stuff out of the way I'll have to look for snobby scrappers video if he has one or if you have one Koontz or if anybody has one, using one, using a screwdriver to get that off of there. Because I have four radiators, and I know that some of these, some of them, have brass inside of them. So I don't know if they're older ones or what the hell they are, but you know what? I don't want to put these on. They're going to stay in here anyways. So, well, guys, I, I sincerely hope. That was okay, and you had some fun. I try to make these videos entertaining as possible with my corny ass sense of humor. Have a little serious talk here and there. Oh, yeah, a bunch of premieres. Oh, somebody moving in or out? Something moving out. There might be stuff going in there that I could get. Yeah, this, I'm gonna put up front. Because I, you know what, tomorrow, on the way home from work, I'm going to stop at Menard's World and get me some uh, star bits so I can get that. And, and i got to find the, the Torx bits that have the hole, uh, the uh, security hole for the uh, microwaves because the ones I have 
you know what? I do have Torx bits. I, or, I'm sorry, star bits. At the storage unit. Now that I think of it. I'm gonna chuck this in here. Again, don't wanna hit that van. It's tight parking over here, guys. I just wanted to come out and enjoy the weather. I got some peekers watching me. Looking at my scrap load in the back of the van. <laughs> oh shoot, forgot that. I'm gonna put that in there. Checking out my scrap. Oh yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Eyes off. Thinking eyes on. You know, because if I put this in here, it's just gonna... The next time I go to open this up, it's gonna come flying out again. Which is fine. Well guys, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for hanging in with me today. Thanks for listening to me, if you listened to everything. Hope you had a good time. I certainly did, it's a beautiful day out. Another fun day. I am going to be, uh, I'll probably stop at the storage unit on the way home from work tomorrow. Pick up, uh, yeah, I got to get off this, to sort off this seat, because I got to put my windows up. Um, yeah. <laughs> now you're really riding shotgun, aren't you? What, what's, yeah, that's not going to be what's holding it up. Okay, I just gotta be careful. Not say there's my alley. I'll clean it up. Um, I'll stop at the storage unit on the way home or I'll pick up my big ass drill, the one with the two batteries. Bring it home, bring home them torque bits. And we'll get them boards out of that direct TV box. And tear that microwave down. So I don't know if I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, if it's nice out, I would like to go dumpster picking, but if I can, I can't. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, stop the storage unit at any rate. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. You all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.